Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at continuous random variables. Let x be a continuous random variable with the following probability density function. f of x, where that is lowercase f or small f of x, and sometimes we put in that subscript capital X there to denote the relationship with the variable capital X. That is equal to x squared times 2x plus two, 3 over 2, where x is between 0 and 1 and zero otherwise. So essentially zero and one is the range of values we are particularly interested in. So if y is equal to two divided by x plus three, find the variance of y. So this is an important thing we're gonna use here. The variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. Okay, so essentially what we have to do here is find out what the variance of 1 over x is okay we can disregard the plus 3 that's uh, for a different time but essentially what we need to do is find the variance of 1 over x now we are going to use the law of the unconscious statistician okay or the lotus theorem and i'll just sort of cut down to the main point the expected value of g of x or g of x is a function of x can be expressed as the integral of g of x times the probability density function of x dx okay so when g of x is a function of x and we have a probability density function of x essentially the expected value of gx is that integral there okay so that's going to help us so what we're asked to do is find the variance of y okay and that is the variance of 2 over x plus 3 and essentially that works out to be using what i stated before 4 times the variance of 1 over x. So this is what we have to find here, uh, the variance of 1 over x. Now just remember, uh, a here is 2, so a squared equals 4, okay? So this is a times x essentially, okay? Or 1 over x. So, And we can disregard b here, where that is equal to 3. So that's using that theorem I just mentioned above, the variance of ax plus b equals a squared times the variance of x. So essentially what we have to do is find the variance of x. So we're going to break it up into two parts. The variance of x, we're going to calculate as follows, the expected value of 1 over x squared minus the expected value of 1 over x to be squared. So essentially what we have to do is calculate, calculate these two expressions here using lotus. So let's begin. The expected value of 1 over x is the definite integral from 0 to 1 of x squared. Remember, this is x squared times 2x plus 3 over 2. So when we multiply x squared by 1 over x, sorry, I just let you get a clearer picture of that. So this is f of x here, x squared. So when we multiply x squared by 1 over x, we get x, okay, times 2 thirds plus 3 over 2, okay, so essentially multiply that out, we get 2x squared plus 3x divided by 2, definite integral, when we evaluate it between 0 and 1, we should, this should work out to be 17 over 12. So I've gone through that very fast there, that there's a little bit of a couple of steps there, but really you should be fairly familiar with definite integrals, it's the integral of 2x squared plus 3x divided by 2. And that should work out to be a, a fairly straightforward here. When you evaluate it at 0 and 1, you get 17 over 12. Okay, that's grand. What we're going to do now is calculate the expected value of 1 over x squared. Okay, so we multiply 1 over x squared times our probability density function. The x squared cancels out. So remember, our probability density function is x squared times 2x plus 3 over 2. And when we multiply it out by 1 over x squared, essentially x squared is cancelled out. So what we're left here is, with is essentially 2x plus 3 over 2. And again, it's another straightforward definite integral. So that should be 2x squared uh, divided by 2 plus 3x over 2. Integrate, evaluated at 0 and 1, working that out, we should get 5 over 2, okay? So I just 
Let's pause it there to correct the mistake. But anyway, here we go. So the variance of 1 over x equals 1 over x squared minus the expected value of 1 over x to be squared. Okay? So that is 5 over 2 minus 17 over 12 squared. So 17 over 12 square, squared is 298 divided by 144. 5 over 2 can be re-expressed as 360 divided by 144. So the difference between the two is 71 minus, divided by 144. Okay, so that's the variance of 1 over x. The variance of y is 4 times the variance of 1 over x. So it's 4 times 71 divided by 144. Essentially what we do is just fix the denominator. And that is 71 divided by 36. So it's just, just short of 2. Okay, uh, 72 divided by 36 is 2, so just nearly 2. 71 over 36 is the correct answer anyway. Okay, great, we'll leave it there.